I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Tom Sawyer. I come way over here on the right hand side, I put three fingers and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a flat oval. I come on the left hand side and draw a straight line down. Right hand side, draw a straight line down. Come back to the left, draw a slightly curved line up and over, connect. Inside, I'm going to mimic that bottom line. So let's just draw a slightly curved line up, over, and connect. Come on the left hand side, we're going to draw a straight line, curve line all the way over, curve line up, and connect. Right here, if you can, line up, and we're just going to draw a big curve line up, over, on the left hand side, curve line out and connect, jump over, right hand side, curve line out, and connect. Come right here in the center, straight line on the left, straight line on the right, slightly curved line, connect. Come down here on the left and draw a curve line off the page. Come up on the right, curve line off the page. Come inside and put one dot, two dots, in the center, curve line, big curve line up, over, little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. Starting over here on the left, wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line on the right, connect, come down below, wavy, wavy line, connect, come on the right, wavy, wavy line, connect. Okay. Come right over here, put a dot. We're going to draw a slightly curved line down, curve line over, curve line up, and leave it floating. Come down below, little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right, slightly curved line over, and connect. Right in the center, straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. Come up to the top on the left, zigzag, 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 connect. Come inside, curve line, curve line, straight line, curve line. And over here we're going to do curve line up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. Okay, come right over here, put a dot, and we're going to draw another flat oval. Straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, come back to the left, slightly curved line up, over, connect. Inside, if you have room, just draw a little spiral. And over here on the left, we're just going to go curve line down, up, down, up, and connect. Okay. Now, come way over here on the left-hand side. Zig, zag, 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 zig. Now, all of us are going to have a different amount because we all draw differently, but basically it's zigzag from the left, all the way over to the right because now every point you're going to draw a straight line down straight line down bam you crash into that jump over don't draw through your pictures straight line down straight line down bam I crash into that jump over do not draw through your pictures straight line down bam jump over bam jump over Bam! Come over. Bam! <laughs> and last one, I think, straight line all the way down. Alright, if you have room, wavy, wavy line up, wavy line over, 
wavy line over off the page. Okay, let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, when you talk about Tom Sawyer, this is him painting the fence with whitewash that Aunt Polly told him to do. So these, are, that's why we drew who we and what we drew. So we're going to draw his hat, and I'm using yellow because it's kind of like a straw hat. And I leave that one part blank because I'm going to come in with my black, and I'm just going to draw a color in his hat band. Okay? If, if you have multicultural crayons and you can color in his face, I think this is apricot or beige, you can go ahead and do that. If you do not have it, just leave it blank or you can color it in light brown, pink. It's up to you. I'm giving him brown hair and the same brown I'm going to use on the bottom part of my paintbrush and the bottom part of my whitewash can. That's going to be our connecting color. Okay? Because a lot of this is white. We're just going to leave it alone. Okay. Next, I'm going to take blue and I'm going to give him a blue shirt. And as always, because this is my drawing, I'm going to fill in the background with blue straight lines. Some of you might want to do actual coloring in a blue. It's up to you. I always do stripes. I don't know why. I just like the look of it. Okay? Next, I had somebody say, oh, are these clouds? I'm like, no, these are treetops. So I'm just going to take my light green, yellow green, and just do a loop-de-loop. -loop. For leaves and then over it I'm going to take a darker green but now that I think about it you could leave them white and they could be clouds I was thinking trees okay and that's it I think let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's Tom Sawyer all colored in ready to whitewash that fence okay Bye-bye.